In our session on planning for growth, we discussed what businesses must do when planning for growth. We mentioned the need to have a business plan, financial plan, and a plan for competitive edge. We also looked at the importance of a good customer service and risk management. For a firm to grow from position A to B, break into a new market, diversify its investment, or achieve a breakthrough, the firm must undertake projects, which may involve research and development, purchase of an asset, replacement of existing assets with advanced technology, facility upgrade, long-term employees training etc. All these require capital outlay. Hence, capital must be carefully budgeted for. Once a decision has been made and money has been spent, it is very difficult to reverse the process. Sometimes, it costs more to undo the damages done than the initial process involved in capital budgeting. So, what is capital budgeting, and why is it important to businesses? Whether in a startup, or growth process, more often than not, businesses are faced with limited amount of money to undertake unlimited projects required to take them to their promised land. Hence, owners of these businesses will want to undertake those projects that best utilize the limited resources available and provide optimum return on investment within the shortest possible time. Capital budgeting is one of the critical factors that separate successful businesses from failed ones, well-managed from mismanaged ones, and growing from stunt businesses. Let's say you are an entrepreneur just starting a business, for instance, you are be faced with the decision to attend extra training, or purchase an important software or an equipment. The best decision you go for will be that which will require less or equal amount of money you currently have or can access in the money or capital market, and that which impact your cash inflow and profit positively. Let's assume a new training on selling skills will cost you $10,000 and you have forecasted that by the end of the training, you can close sales of $7,000 yearly as a sales manager, and you have analyzed that you can only be in this position for three years until you get a replacement for the position, arithmetically, you will go for the training as it will give you an extra cash of $11,000 by the end of the third year. However, the $11,000 is likely to be less when discounted at the cost of getting the initial $10,000, and other expenses are considered. You will find out why in our subsequent series. But what if you decide to look at the option of purchasing a software and you discover that you can purchase the software at $10,000 which will aid in generating a profit of $7,500 yearly for 4 years until it will be due for change? Will you still go with the first option? I guess not, because purchasing the software will earn you more profit over time. This is just a simple analogy as many factors such as, cost of fund, time value analysis, risk appetite of the owners and financiers, etc. will likely impact your capital budgeting decision. You can always engage our services to train you and your staff on capital budgeting decision, or to assist you in choosing the appropriate method of capital budgeting, designing a cash flow projection, allocating cash flow to projects, risk adjusted discount rates and cash flows, sales forecast, trend and sensitivity analysis and lot more.